Hello everyone, and welcome to the supper. This is a free horror game on Steam, so my hopes for it aren't that high, but considering this little subtext right here, I may just be proven wrong. Let's begin. <laughs> I'm not going to try, I'm not going to do any, like, dramatic voices or anything, but... Miss Sappleton, wake up! I'm sorry, Miss Sappleton. I know your old bones are tired. Things were much easier before, weren't they? But there's no time to rest. Look at the time. Listen, I'm not a voice actor, okay? Bear with me here. Customers will be arriving any minute now. And we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? Am I oh, it's a point-and-click game. Solid wax. Okay, doesn't seem like the solid wax does anything. Oh, do I? No? Okay then. Well, I need a candle. Alright, I know it's dark in here. Some light will make the place much more inviting. Can I grab a chair, maybe? No? It's a doorbell. Can I ring it? <laughs> I can ring the doorbell. Okay. I'm assuming I need a candle of some kind. Oh, wait. Maybe if I grab the ember. Maybe I can grab. Ah! Well, that solution was simple enough. Well done, Mrs. Appleton. Now I just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. Can I go outside? No time for a walk now, Mrs. Appleton. I smell fresh clients coming this way. Why don't you go and make sure our special sauce is ready for them? I don't like how ominous that sounds. But... Guess we gotta make sure. Mmm. Smells delicious. Do you hear it, Miss Sappleton? Horses. Growling stomachs. <laughs> Here they come. Do you think it could be them? Um, well, with the capitalization of them. Ah, what a lovely crowd we have here tonight. We've got... Ah, yes, I completely understood that. Look, the chest. These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit, quickly. Now oh, we've got Billy, John, and Bobby. What would the gentleman like to start with? <gasps> so, uh, excellent choice. Pigeon a la sauce rosé? I'm probably butchering that, but that sounds very interesting. Is our chef's specialty. Okay, well, where do you think you're going, Mrs. Appleton? Shouldn't you take these gentlemen? Oh, okay, okay. Ah, spicy red swordfish. Personal favorite. Mouth-watering delicacy that's healthy as well. Lots of omega-3. 
Uh, I have no comment for that, but... Ah! Hand and tongue stew. Interesting. Very interesting. And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. I was right. You were wrong. So that's a spicy red swordfish for the mind-controlling beast on the left. That's Billy. A pigeon and a sauce rosé for the sick old man on the right. That's Bobby. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. That's John. <laughs> of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. Come on, Mrs. Appleton. Go and fetch the ingredients. And don't forget to check out the recipe list on the kitchen's wall if you have any problem remembering them. I love the art style for this game. The way the, the lighting casts a very obvious shadow and how it clearly blends into the darkness. It's actually very well. It's so detailed yet simplistic. It gives a very eerie vibe to the whole place. Okay, I may be filling up the water jug. No? Maybe with wax? No. Oh. Hmm. Maybe that means I have to go outside. Oh, it does. Hmm. Over here, just a jail door. Okay, maybe it's best we don't go to the jail. Hope you're not thinking of climbing up there. The fisherman. Oh, poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. Did he catch anything at least? Huh. A boot. Wonderful. Can I... Wonder if I could maybe fill the jug with water. But I apparently cannot. What do I do with this wet old boot? Ah. Well, that works. <laughs> That's the main ingredient for our Pigeon Supreme a la Sauce Rosé. Now let's finish the dish. This is my guess? Ah, yes. And that's the first one done. The Pigeon, the pigeon a la Sauce Rosé is ready to be served. I believe you wanted it. Yes. Bon appetit, monsieur. I'm probably, again, completely butchering oh. that. Ah. Oh. You can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. Don't worry. They are used to passing out in taverns. They won't notice he stopped breathing. Ah. Interesting. Oh, the rope! I seem to be able to cut the rope with these rusty scissors. It's right here. Ah, yes. And now we ascend. I'm not sure how that works, but... I mean... Okay, that caught me off guard. Do I... Yes. Well, that was interesting. You know, I feel like just scooping some water up from the sea would have been easier. There we go. Wow. Okay, that was fast. Okay, can't go that way. Well, 
Let's check out the captain's quarters then. I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood. Ah. <laughs> oh yes indeed. Captain Clint McMurray, my sister's second husband. Looks like you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. Ah, huh. well, a happy ending then. Okay. Where do we go now? Let's put your stuff on the lever? Nope. Okay. Can I jimmy the lock? I'll take that as a no. So we use the knife on the swordfish tail. Ah, yes. Oh. Right. Wait, wait, wait. The special sauce shouldn't be should be added at the end of Miss Appleton. Just follow the recipe. Ah. There's crafting in this game. Perfect. Those are the main ingredients. Now, let's finish the dish. Oh, that just sounds so ominous. Let's finish the dish. Well done, Miss Appleton. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. Oh, here you go, my good sir. Your spicy red swordfish, just for you. Bon appetit. Oh, I just love how scary it is. Oh, I skipped dialogue. I just love how weirdly, like, detailed the death animations are. It's like, the first guy dug into it, and he just slumps over. And this guy, his hat is what eats it. And yet he dies too. Haha. -ha. Do you get it, Miss Appleton? It's funny. Come on, laugh. Uh, I would have laughed if I had actually caught the joke. Okay. I'm assuming we go to the jail cell now. The final part of the game. Maybe. Maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. Skeleton hand. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Ah. No? Oh. Yeah. Right? No? Yes. Ah, I see. I see now. Now let's finish the dish. I see. We may not have that high of a sanitary rating, but we sure can cook a dish. Here you go, sir. Deadly shark and your plump human tongue stew. Bon appetit, my cartilaginous friend. Again, butchering words, but what can you do? Another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy. Can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Well, it certainly doesn't seem like it. Great. Now let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. <laughs> Do I? Ah, okay. This will be useful to carry the bodies out. Okay. I see. <laughs> dum de dum. Tin fathom deep. I can't sing. I I cannot sing. Oh, here you are. Ah, there we are. 
We've never used the grinder with such large specimens. Let's hope their bones don't get stuck. It's a grind. Whoa! Their bodies are the sauce. Well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. Is that it? Is Do I not get rid of the cart or anything? Oh. Thank you, Miss Appleton. The ghost is what was... Oh. Oh, that's so cool. What a twist. I appreciate all you've done for me. At last, I'm allowed to rest. And so are you. I have lived so many good memories of you and I working side by side. You were my dearest friend. Oh, they were together. When those beasts dragged me out from our kitchen, I knew I was done for. I swear I didn't steal that gold nugget from them. I want it fair and square. Oh. Oh my. While I was anguishing, suffocating inside this chest they put me in, there was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you found me, dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. Please. Find a quiet place to bury my bones. Near the old well where I like to spend my time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dearest friend. And goodbye. Wow. What a story. That... That was amazing. I'm not even gonna lie. You know, honestly, I knew it was gonna be short since it's a free game, but wow. Even with the shortness of it, I don't even know how to describe what I just experienced. That was... That was really cool. I loved the art style, I loved the music, I, I loved just the animation, everything about it, even the story, it's very sweet. Wow. Oh. Thank you for playing. And thank you for watching. Whatever this may be. Thanks for sitting through however long this video is. Aw. See you later, I guess.